Yeah. Well, in tonight's What's Working, a rare glimpse inside a Gulf Coast landmark that you've probably driven through dozens, if not hundreds of times. News 5 tagged along as a local class of fourth graders toured below the Wallace Tunnel. As Devin Walsh tells us, the Alabama Department of Transportation has been leading these tours for more than a decade. Thousands of cars fly through the Wallace Tunnel every day. Drivers not putting much thought into what's below it. Oh my gosh! But fourth graders at St. Ignatius School, no, too young to drive, oh! got the opportunity to go down, way down. I mean several flights of stairs below the tunnel for a tour. It was kind of scary because they were really steep. Once you start going up, it's not very scary. The Department of Transportation civil engineer Jason Nguyen has led the tours the last several years. He says kids and adults are always fascinated. You're not just driving through through a tunnel. You're not just driving through a couple of tubes. There's this whole underground infrastructure. Um, you have ventilation, pumps, um, fans, all that. You have generator, power backup. There's just so much involved. I've gone through the tunnel very a lot of times, but I but I never knew that there was like all of stuff under the tunnel. I, I didn't know how we got air. It was just like, it surprised me. When you enter the Wallace Tunnel, you're actually above the water, but the kids were surprised to learn that in the lowest part of the tunnel, you're actually 47 feet below the surface of the Mobile River. I was surprised that I was 47 feet down and now there was a $40,000 fan down there. The kids also got to see this impressive wall of camera monitors that ALDOT engineers examine for traffic accidents. We uh, have radar detectors in the tunnel. The whole field trip was eye-opening. I never knew that like it was so cool down there. And these kids say they'll never think about the tunnel the same way. I'm going to think about how cool the tunnel, knowing how the tunnel was built. Now that they know what's under it. For What's Working, with photojournalist Arnell Hamilton, I'm Devin Walsh.